Good day! This is the sixth review video for the Math 22 series. In this video, we will be talking about sequences and their convergence. Okay, let's start. First, let us recall what is an infinite sequence or simply a sequence. An infinite sequence is the ordered list of elements of the range of a sequence function f from the set of natural numbers n to the set of real numbers r. The elements of the sequence are called its terms. The notation that we will be using for the sequences for Math 22 are the following. The set of all a sub n from n is equal to 0 to positive infinity, which is equal to the set whose terms are a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2, and so on. We can simply write the set a sub n if there is no ambiguity. Another notation is... For any k in the set of all natural numbers, the set of all a sub n from n is equal to k to positive infinity. This is equal to the set whose elements are a sub k, a sub k plus 1, a sub k plus 2, and so on. Now that we know sequences, we can now get the limit of a sequence. Let a sub n be a sequence and let l be a real number. The limit of a sequence a sub n is L if and only if for n epsilon greater than 0, there exists an n greater than 0 such that this inequality is satisfied. In this case, we say that a sub n converges to L or is convergent and write the limit of a sub n as n approaches positive infinity is equal to L. If there is no real number that satisfies the condition above, then a sub n diverges or is said to be divergent. We will now tackle a theorem regarding the limit of a sequence. Let f be a function defined in the interval k to positive infinity for some k in the set of all real numbers. And let a sub n be equal to f of n for all n in the set of all natural numbers with n greater than or equal to k. Number one, if the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity exists, then the limit of the sequence a sub n as n approaches positive infinity is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity. Number two, if the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity is equal to positive infinity, then the limit of a sub n as n approaches positive infinity is also equal to positive infinity. Number three, if the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity is equal to negative infinity, then the limit of a sub n as n approaches positive infinity is equal to negative infinity. We also have squeeze theorem for sequences. Let a sub n, b sub n, and c sub n be sequences. If a sub n is less than or equal to b sub n, which is less than or equal to c sub n for all n greater than or equal to k for some natural number k, and the limit of a sub n and c sub n are both equal to some real number l, then the limit of b sub n is also equal to l. Moving forward, we have more definition for sequences. A sequence a sub n is said to be number one, constant if a sub n is equal to a sub n plus one for all n. This means that all the terms in a sequence is the same or equal. Number two, a sequence a sub n is said to be increasing if a sub n is less than or equal to a sub n plus one for all n. This means that every succeeding terms are increasing in value. Next, a sequence a sub n is said to be decreasing if a sub n is greater than or equal to a sub n plus 1 for all n. Meaning, every succeeding terms are less than or equal to the prior terms. And lastly, a sequence a sub n is said to be monotone if it is either increasing or decreasing. Remark, a sequence a sub n with n ranging from k to positive infinity is said to be 
number one strictly increasing if a sub n is strictly less than a sub n plus one for all n greater than or equal to k. Number two, strictly decreasing if a sub n is strictly greater than a sub n plus one for all n greater than or equal to k. Ultimately increasing if the sequence a sub n with n ranging from k to positive infinity is increasing for some m greater than or equal to k. Or it can also be ultimately decreasing if the sequence a sub n with n ranging from k to positive infinity is decreasing for some n greater than or equal to k. Any of the following conditions implies that the sequence a sub n with n ranging from k to positive infinity is increasing. Number one, a sub n plus one minus a sub n is greater than or equal to zero for all n. Number two, all terms are positive and a sub n plus one over a sub n is greater than or equal to one for all n. Number three, a sub n is equal to the function f of n, where f is differentiable on the range k to positive infinity for all n in the set of natural numbers. And the derivative of f of x is greater than or equal to zero for all x greater than or equal to k. Analogous conditions can be obtained, which imply that the sequence is strictly increasing, decreasing, or strictly decreasing. A sequence a sub n is said to be number one bounded below if there exists a small letter m in the set of all real numbers such that a sub n is greater than or equal to m for all n and the number m is called a lower bound for the sequence. Number two bounded above if there exists a big m which is in the set of all real numbers such that a sub n is less than or equal to big M for all n, and the number m is called an upper bound for the sequence. Number three, a sequence is said to be bounded if it is bounded above and bounded below. Remark, an increasing sequence is bounded below by its first term, while a decreasing sequence is bounded above by its first term. Now we will be talking about the monotone convergence theorem. The monotone convergence theorem states that if a sequence is bounded and monotone, then it is convergent. Equivalently, a monotone sequence is convergent if and only if it is bounded. Here are the exercises for this video. In this video, we will be answering numbers 1a, 1b, and 2. The remaining items will be left for the viewers to answer. Pause this video if you want to answer the exercises first. Okay, let's start. Problem number 1a. We will be determining if the sequence sine 1 over n minus sine 1 over n plus 1 with n ranging from 1 to positive infinity converges or diverges. If the sequence converges, we will find its limit. So, solution, let f of x be equal to sine 1 over x minus sine 1 over x plus 1 be defined on the interval 1 to positive infinity. Note that the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity is equal to the limit of sine 1 over x minus sine 1 over x plus 1 as x approaches positive infinity. We can factor out the limit and we will have the limit of sine 1 over x as x approaches infinity minus the limit of sine 1 over x plus 1 as x approaches positive infinity. Pwede natin ipasok yung limit sa loob ng sine, and yung limit itong una is equal to 0 since 1 over infinity yan, and ito then is equal to 0 since 1 over positive in infinity ito. So we will be left with sine 0 minus 0, we know that sine 0 is equal to 0, so we'll, the limit of f of x is equal to 0. Since f of n is equal to sine 1 over n minus sine 1 over n plus 1, for all n in the set of natural numbers with n greater than 1, so the sequence sine 1 over n minus sine 1 over n plus 1 
with n ranging from 1 to positive infinity converges to 0. That's the final answer. For problem 1D, we will determine whether the following sequence converge or diverge. If the sequence converges, we will find its limit. So solution, let g of x be equal to 2x minus 1 plus 3 raised to x all over x raised to 5 plus 4 be defined on the interval 1 to positive infinity. So in this problem, we not the limit on g of x as x approaches positive infinity, which is equal to the right-hand side. So we can multiply 1 over x raised to 5 on both the denominator and the numerator. And makukuha natin to. Note that, pwede natin i-cancel out itong mga ito. Itong mga ito. Since the limit as x approaches infinity ng mga ito is equal to 0. At ang limit ng 1 as x approaches infinity is 1. So matitira lang sa atin is limit ng 3 raised to x all over 5 as x approaches positive infinity. So, yun lang ang matitira sa atin. So, ayun. Yun lang ang matitira sa atin. Tapos, pwede natin i-apply yung L'Hopital's rule since this is indeterminate with the form infinity over infinity. So, bali limang beses natin i-apply yung L'Hopital's rule. Medyo taxing siya, pero para matapos yan. Pwede so, five times natin i-apply yung L'Hopital's rule para makuha yung limit ng ln 3 raised to 5 times 3 raised to x all over 120 as x approaches positive infinity. Pwede natin tanggalin yung ln 3 raised to 5 over 120 since constant yon And matitira sa atin ito. Pang alam natin na yung limit ng isang exponential function as x approaches positive infinity is equal to infinity. So, itong buong ito is equal to positive infinity to infinity siya. So, since g of n is equal to the sequence kanina, which is 2n minus 1 plus 3 raised to n, all over n raised to 5 plus 4 for all n in the set of all natural numbers with n greater than or equal to 1. Tapos alam natin yung limit ng g of n or g of x does not exist. Then, the sequence diverges. Okay, as said earlier, problem 1c will be given as an exercise to the viewer. However, bibigitan ko kayo ng hint for this. You will be using squeeze theorem for sequences. So, problem number 2, we will be using the monotone convergence theorem to determine if the sequence square root of n over n factorial with n ranging from 1 to positive infinity converges or diverges. Solution, for all natural number n with n being greater than or equal to 1, let a sub n be equal to square root of n over n factorial, then a sub n plus 1 be equal to square root of n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. First, kailangan nating malaman if yung sequence ba the square root of n over n factorial with n ranging from 1 to positive infinity is increasing or decreasing. Since alam natin na yung a sub n at a sub n plus 1 is always positive for all n, then pwede natin gamitin yung a sub n plus 1 over a sub n is greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to 1 para malaman natin if increasing or decreasing yung sequence. So, yun ang gagawin natin. Ito, ito yung a sub n plus 1 over a sub n equal siya sa expression na to. And we, can may, and we can manipulate this expression to get this. We know that we can cancel n factorial and we will be left with n plus 1 sa denominator. And then, yan maka-cancel din natin itong dalawang ito since we can rewrite this as n plus 1 raised to 1 half. Then this is equal to n plus 1 
raised to negative 1. So, pwede mo ma-cancel out yan and you will be left with the following. And then, this is equal to 1 over square root of n squared plus n. So, alam natin na yung square root of n squared plus n is greater than 1 for all n greater than or equal to 1. Then, 1 over square root of n squared plus n is less than 1. This implies that the sequence is strictly decreasing. Hence, it is decreasing. Hence, it is monotone. Then, since the sequence is decreasing, then it is bounded above by its first term. Then, also, since all the terms of the sequence is positive, then it is bounded below by zero. Hence, the sequence is bounded. So, the sequence is monotone and bounded. So, by the monotone convergence theorem, the sequence is convergent. So, yun na yun. So, problem number three. Problem number three will be given as an exercise. So, kung gusto niyo ma-challenge, try niyo to. This is the end of the video. Make sure to try and solve all the problems on your own. Good luck and stay safe. Thank you for watching.